Well, you are compromised. You are compromised political ideology, and at the same time, you are dealing with light and colors. And it's very hard uh, to express and let the world do almost everything, like automatic, about looking for freedom and looking for something that we don't have liberty, freedom, happiness. And that happened also with the accumulation, in my case, the accumulation of objects and the accumulation of colors. Oh yes, uh, my entire generation uh, of, of artists, we were students during the 70s and 80s, but then we'll become, uh, pro proclaim more space. Yes, I love and I have a relationship with the Chicanas artists, the feminists, the Brazilians. Um, I was not alone when I started uh, showing. He said, no, no, I was not alone in any moment. There are Americans, Indian Americans, and like James Luna, who died, died recently, uh, Rene Stout, uh, and other people co come into mind. Uh, we was working different. Oh, my, my recollection, when we start doing uh, Day With Our Art, in the beginning was more aggressive when we cover with fabric the art and the public experience, no art. We will cover and close the galleries or, or do more uh, alarming, it was very alarming. Now, after so many years of the epidemics, it's, it's more soft. It's important because it brings you to a, an awareness. Uh, you are aware of the political and historical moment, moment and you are aware uh, they give us a fragment, they give us uh, a percentage, and we are dealing with that percentage, a fragmentation, and it's like a mathematics. They give only crumbs, a miasma, a political miasma, and from that you have to organize, and it becomes not my history, but other people's history too, and it's multiple. Well, I start when I was 18. Um, other people, other artists like Felix Gonzalez Torres, and what happened with Felix, uh, died very younger from, from AIDS, and see my professors, Juan Gonzalez in drawing class, um, Keith Haring in the classroom, self screen classroom, and pre making, and in the sidewalk was uh, Jean Michel Bacquois hanging around the sidewalk because he cannot come inside the studio or he cannot talk to us because we are studying our history or we are working in the other museums. And we reject that way too. But it was kind of naive. We was uh, not 20 yet, no 20, and we was very naive. Of course, uh, it was an impeding path and people wake up when the censorship start happening. When they, in the 80s, uh, the National Endowment, the uh, maple throw shows, and it was very scared that they will come to the studio, that the politicians or the policemen can come to the studio. And you will explain that, and that was in the air. Uh, it was very sad, sad, because people disappear, and they only leave uh, a document of, of art, um, making it in a hurry. And we explained that, it was in a hurry, uh, the way we live and the way they show our artwork. I kind of back up a little bit. Um, I moved to Pennsylvania, and that was a big shame. And not Pennsylvania, through the students. Not only Keith Haring was in the school, there was other people who come from here. There was a uh, companion from, from uh, high school to college, from Kutztown, and there was other people. They were doing image, images, and there was very, uh, holding to the idea of, of painting. Like they was doing watercolors, uh, egg tempera, fresco, 
And those things there was no teaching in the school. It was like forbidding uh, working with frescoes. But these people was doing that, and that was my first Hawaii spring in Pennsylvania. And they was humble. They was very humble. And I was more street smart than them. You know, they had all, they went to our school. But it was a bit, almost a movement that made the lower side and we moved from Soho to the lower side. And what happened there, and people carrying paintings, we live in different galleries. Uh, you could find 20 galleries in one area. And that will never happen again. Um, all these things happen, like we have, my experience was the first time I saw a wax, a fruit was wax, and the apples came to the, the computers came at the same time the telephones, uh, fashion, drugs. It was only pot, heroin, and then was crack or cocaine. And I spray in that. Uh, I saw it in the street because the studio was there too. And we are in the village, in the village, and we moved around the village. Of course, I spray in that now too in my hometown in Easton because we are a lot of artists. And now we are spraying uh, museums or galleries. And it's a, a friendship.